let's do this. Um, please know my skin. Uh, it really is not doing very well today. It's just not one of those good skin days, but we're gonna push through it and also have like an issue sa aking mata guys. Parang sobrang dry niya lately. As in dito, sobrang dry na mamalat siya. Hindi ko alam yung gagawin ko. If you have suggestions, comment them down below because usually hindi naman ganito talaga. Okay naman yung eyes ko. But I'm not sure if you can see as in sobrang dry niya ngayon. But of course, nothing is gonna stop us from this summer ready, no hula summer proof makeup tutorial. I have so many exciting new products to show you. Mostly affordable. So let's begin with my base. Something I've been using for about three to four days now this is a brand new product in my skincare and makeup rotation and i kid you not it has been so freaking amazing i have to tell you guys about this even john dre at the end raves about this and for a good reason so ito siya yung lux organics na aqua daily sunscreen broad spectrum with spf 50 pa plus 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 uva uvb protection with aloe vera centella asiatica and calendula extract sunscreen this is how it looks like. It's the most base product natin. Sunscreen moisturizer all in one for today. Wala pa ko in apply sa skin ko and ito lang yung gagamitin ko before my makeup application. Whenever it's summer, ayoko talaga piling it on. And as much as possible, I want to keep my makeup really simple, natural, and easy breezy kasi syempre summertime. Eh. There's always a difference between natural looks and more full glam looks and today medyo natural lang talaga tayo because it's summertime, guys. And it's my birth month. Yes. Apparently, sobrang dami na palang nag-request sa Lux Organics na maglabas ng sunscreen. I think they killed it with this formula, to be honest. Guys, sinasabi ko sa iyo, kung mahili kayo sa sunscreens, so you have to try this out. Affordable lang to, guys. Mga nasa 349. And you do get a lot of product. 50 ml to, guys. So, hindi kayo mabilis mauubusan, which is always a bonus. Ayan. I'm gonna take about this much. The product itself is just like very watery. It's like an aqua watery type of sunscreen. Hindi siya mabigat sa face. Apply ko na siya sa face ko, guys. As in, hindi siya mabigat. I was actually shocked with this product kasi nung sinabi nila ang aqua base, hindi ko naman in-expect na ganito siya ka-watery and lightweight for comparison purposes lang. Para lang din may idea kayo if you're aware of the Biore sunscreen. Di ba yun parang medyo milky na parang powdery, powder matte yung texture niya. Comparing it naman sa sunscreen ng Belo, yun naman medyo cream type. Ito, as in, guys, I'm telling you, first time ko makatry ng sunscreen na ganito yung consistency. Sobra lightweight. As in, tingin nyo, blended na siya sa skin ko. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more and apply onto my neck. Just the consistency of it, it's just like, it melts onto my skin. This is... This is... Bata naman eh! <laughs> This is the most lightweight of a sunscreen. This is probably the most lightweight sunscreen I have tried. Sobrang walang katulad yung consistency. Wait lang, pakita ko sa inyo ulit ha? Para may idea lang kayo. Ayan o, oh, like it just melts. When your hand is in contact with a product, it just literally melts and absorbs right into the skin. Legit to. As in legit. Tapos sobrang affordable pa. 349 Sis? And I really appreciate the fact na hindi lang siya sunscreen. Para nabigyan niya din ako ng konting slip sa skin ko. Nabigyan niya ako ng konting hydration ng moisture. Itong sunscreen ito, perfect sa for tamad people like me. Marami akong mga nakakausap na friends na skincare enthusiasts. And yung number one talaga na skincare product that you shouldn't miss is actually sunscreen. Kasi sis, kung hindi ka nag-sunscreen every single day, yung damage ng sun, kahit actually yung sa bahay ka, like ako nasa bahay, kailangan pa rin mag-sunscreen guys. Because if you don't, as in, it's really gonna show on your skin, you're gonna have a lot of sunspots, your wrinkles are gonna be more prominent. So, if you feel ko, as in kahit nasa kamay ko, meron siyang moisturizing feel. If you try this out, let me know kung same ba tayo na experience. Hindi siya yung typical sunscreen na pag nilagay mo, kailangan ko pa mag-moisturizer or whatever. This one, I actually feel like if I'm lazy, ito na lang yung dadalhin ko kasi para siyang moisturizing sunscreen. Meron pa siyang added ingredients kasi diba, ang sunscreen sa man, sunscreen! As in, it's like a literal sunscreen. Ito, meron siyang aloe vera, centella asiatica, which is a very hot ingredient right now for skincare and calendula extract lightweight non-greasy no white cast wala akong white cast medyo maputi lang talaga ako pero hindi yun from the sunscreen and as you can see it melts on your skin within seconds syempre nakakatulong din yung aloe vera yung calendula for like a more supple and hydrated appearance ng skin mo saka the fact that this has aloe vera di ba aloe vera helps a lot with soothing so kung nasunburn ka man or whatever this can speed up the healing process ever since I started using this I haven't been able to put it down and I'm actually ecstatic 
excited to put on my sunscreen because it takes me one step and I feel protected without that sunscreen vibe that I don't like. Kasi ayoko talaga ng sunscreen na mabigat. Minsan may sunscreen sa ako na tinatry na pag-apply ko sa face ko, alam mo yung namamawis ako? Namamawis ako. For some reason, may ingredient siyang ganun na namamawis ako. I don't know. Maybe the cream type, yung mga ganun. But this one, since it is aqua-based, it just sinks in on the skin and you don't feel... Actually, I don't really even feel it right now. I feel like I just applied a moisturizer, to be honest. Sobrang essential na to, guys. Especially ngayon na summertime na. Again, don't forget your sunscreen, okay? So, try nyo to. I'm gonna put a link on the description box kung saan nyo to mabibili. Pag summer, syempre, ayaw mo nga na sobrang bigat ng skin mo. But at the same time, you want, of course, yung mga tuk 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 covered. I'm using Maybelline Superstay Concealer here. And I'm just gonna dot on it. Dotting it on my problem areas. And as you can see... I am literally just dotting it. I have so many acne marks right now that need to be covered. And I'm blending it out. I'm using a, a puff from Shop Miss A. Nasa states siya available. Sobrang nice and malambot siya sis. Tapos mga nasa 100 pesos lang siya. And no hulas din yung ating makeup for today guys. Kahit mag beach ka man, hindi ka iiwan nito kasi nga we're using long lasting products that actually stick to your skin. As you can see, kahit na may concealer na ako, there are still a couple of spots that are peeking through and gusto ko syempre makover siya. So I'm gonna use Etude House Big Cover Pot Pro and I'm gonna spot conceal. Kung hindi ka ilangan ng buong mukha mo yung concealer, yung added coverage, then no need for you to like layer on your concealers. I'm just doing like spot concealing right now dun sa mga unwanted areas na nagka-peek through pa rin. So as you can see, I have acne marks. A pot concealer like a tooth house will tend to last better on the skin kasi nga dumidikit siya sa balat as you can see ayan. And it's a cream type so mas long lasting to sa akin. Mas heavy duty kumbaga. If you have a lot of blemishes like me um, try to own like a cream type concealer kasi iba pa rin yung effect niya sa isang liquid type. Your liquid type it's more blendable but this one is super great for targeting specific areas na kailangan pa na konting tulong. If you have redness under your nose, you can also do this and spot conceal. If may pimples ka man or blemishes, wag mo nang dagdagan yung buong mukha mo ng isa pang layer ng foundation or concealer. And by the way, hindi ako na foundation today kasi I just like the look of a concealer on my face, especially for summer. Ang dami ko mga spots, parang tayo na ba ako nag-spot conceal? Di ba ako tapos? <laughs> Ang hira. Ang hira pa yung acne prone. Do you see what I mean? As in, the skin still looks really natural, but all of the problem areas are now covered. Healing time! I'm gonna be using the Issy & Co. Brow Refiner and Issy & Co. Brow Pencil. Super ganda nito, as in, na-enjoy ko siya recently. Pero kasi may concern ako, um, I wish the castor oil was a clear brow gel instead. Meron kasi siyang three colors. May clear, may ash, and may... Um, brown. So, one side is a castor oil and what the other side is a brow gel na tinted. So, sana ang ginawa nila, lahat na lang clear brow gel, tapos three colored um, brow mascaras. I think that would make more sense because to be honest, I really don't like reaching for castor oil at night. Parang hindi naman lahat nagka-castor oil. It just makes more sense to me if one is tinted and the other side is more of like a setting gel, di ba? So, what I did is transfer ko yung clear ko this one. Tinansfer ko yung clear ko. So, ngayon, brown and clear na. Ito yung original nila. Pero ginawa ko, brown on one side and clear on the other. And I prefer it this way. I'm able to use both sides this way. So, I'm gonna use the color brown. And I really, really like this. Out of all the brown mascaras na meron sa Philippine market, ito yung pinaka okay. For me, ah. Kasi ito yung pinaka nagmimimik sa glossy boy brow. Maganda yung shape ng spoolie kasi maliit lang. And it can really get precisely into your brows. See? Quick on the go brow look. Ganda. So, as you can see, akakita mo yung difference niyan. Takes like one minute for me, or actually mga 30 seconds lang to do both my eyebrows with this. I'm gonna use their pencil. Ito naman yung brow pencil. It just says brow pencil. In the color ash, which is like a dark, almost black color, I'm gonna straighten my eyebrows dito sa side na to. One quick filling action lang. Kaya alam dito ng kilay ko. And use your finger to just shape your eyebrows even more. I'm gonna use the clear side, which again is just gonna help perk up those brows. Diba? Mas, mas ano siya eh. It just makes more sense kaysa castor oil. 
Because hindi naman lahat kailangan ng castor oil. Now we're gonna move on to contour. You wanna bring back some dimension onto your face. And when it's summer, I prefer to use cream or liquid products to actually apply color on my face. Cream products or liquid products are more likely to stay put on your face rather than a powder product. Pag yung powder product nilagyan nyo, baka medyo mas mabilis siyang humulas. So I'm using these BLK Multitasking Color Sticks starting with a contour at yung um, Coco. Coco. It looks very dark. You're gonna be surprised. Like, look at that. I know. I know. So you want to contour to kind of slim down your face now. And if you want to add a little bit on your nose, of course, you are free to do so. Start blending it out with like a brush like this. Just trying to blend out my contour. Just to add, of course, definition onto the parts of my face. Boom! Instant nose lift. And blend it out. If you find that some of your concealer was rubbed off, don't worry. We're gonna fix that later. But now you just wanna lay down an even layer of your contour. Wow, damn. It does blend out, which is great. And you're gonna definitely get like a slimmer facial shape. So it's really just a matter of blending things out, as you can see. For the eyes, I'm keeping it really, really natural, of course. I like natural looks, okay? Don't come for me. But I'm gonna do Caroline Eyeshadow Palette. I tried this I tried this one and it's so nice. This one, guys. Maganda to. just gonna take this color. Kind of just trying to build it up on my eyelids, on my crease. You just want like a nice light color of that. Maganda tong Caroline palette sa to. As in. Moving on to this palette. I'm gonna use this yellow color. And I'm applying this onto my inner corners. Boom. Both on the top and bottom part. While well, the inner corner, apply mo yung shade na yan. If you want to use your fingers, of course you can to intensify. I'm taking a pointy brush like so, dipping into the darkest color. One of the darkest color in the palette. I'm adding a little tiny bit of definition. It's all about enhancement and how you can really look summer ready and beautiful on the summertime. Just defining the edge. Wag niyo nang dagdagan yun dito kasi feeling ko niyo naman kailangan. I'm applying a little tiny bit of that on my lower lash and just a smudge, smidget of that dark brown color. Curling my eyelashes. Apply a good coat of your favorite waterproof mascara. Or if you have eyelash extensions, I think that would work the best kasi pag summertime, para no fuss lang. I suggest you have eyelash extensions. I can recommend Blink Studio for a good eyelash extension service. Alright, eyes are done. Now moving on to the cheeks. I'm gonna apply EB Collection Blush to Go. This is a cream type putty formula blush. And I'm just applying it here. And you wanna go a little drunk blush to mimic na para kang tinamaan ng sun. And you got a little sunburnt for that summer, toasty, toasty summer vibe. This just looks super nice and just like flattering. I'm gonna add a powder blush on top just to add a little bit more peachiness to the look kasi medyo napipinka na ako dun sa blush natin today. But it's a really good base. Hairline, peach glow. Apply this. And then run it on your nose for that drunk blush appearance and then back on your cheeks. I'm gonna use the Blythe um, what is this? Stardust palette. Mixing these two, the pink one and the white one, just to get like a nice color. Lightly. Uh, medyo textured nga yung cheek ko ngayon. Pagpasensyahan nyo na. Pero yeah, just apply a little bit of glow in there. Because you still wanna glow kahit na summer, syempre. Applying that into here as well and on the areas that you really do think you need glow. I'm gonna take like a brush 
and make sure everything looks blended. Nothing looks too much. Nothing looks crazy, 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 crazy. Okay, so sa lip, sobrang dali lang. I'm gonna use a lip tint. Gusto gusto ko to yung Squad Cosmetics na lip tint in the shade Loriza. It's super nice. It's 75 pesos. Hindi ka na, hindi ka na talo dito, guys. Ganda to, as in, I like it. The color is really nice. And it does blend out nicely. If you want like a summer freshy vibe, you can go for this look with just the lip tint. Pero ako may add pa ako. Ito yung peri pera na airy ink velvet. I'm gonna add it on top. Definitely optional. Depending on your preference lang. I'm gonna use this Happy Punch Cover Stick for Dark Hair. Easy peasy. Ayan. Super favorite ko to lately. Ganda lang siya. Para isasaw-saw mo lang. Tapos, I'm also gonna put it here to cover up some panot. Kasi guys, di ba nga? Parot na ako sis. So, just to cover that up. Look how much difference that made onto my hair. But, 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 don't forget to apply a mist to set everything in to lock it in place. And also, just to add a little bit more dewiness in case feeling mo na hindi ka super dewy. I'm gonna use this one today, yung Lux Organics Hydro Firming Mist. Meron silang tatlong variants. Meron yung green, which is the skin modifying mist. Yung pink, which is the rose water glow mist. And the blue one, which is the hydro firming. The only thing I wish, sana po Lux Organics Change Your Mist. Kasi the formula is super nice. Um, it just re it really does hydrate the skin. Sobrang ganda. But the mister, I find it to be too harsh. A little too harsh. Pero yung product itself is really nice. So yeah, I'm gonna spritz this on my face right now. Medyo like bug siya. Hindi naman siya like the worst mist I've tried. Pero medyo nagugulat ako. Kasi parang di ko yung na-anticipate yung sis. What impresses me with this one, kahit na sobrang dami kong in-apply, and kahit na nakita yun naman, konti na lang malulunod na ako dun sa mist na in-apply ko, sobrang dami kong nga in-apply, it did not even disturb my makeup one bit. I mean, my makeup still looks super fresh, and now meron ng added all-over glow sa skin ko. Kahit dito, na hindi ko hinighlight, it looks beautiful. Ayan. And by the way, ito pa rin yung gamit ko. Hydro Firming Mist. Meron siyang collagen. Also, meron siyang hyaluronic acid, which is, of course, super essential if you want hydrated skin. It's perfect also for all skin types. You can use it as a skincare product, actually, before you apply all of your other skincare products. As a prep before you apply your clay mask. Minsan pag nadadry ako yung skin ko throughout the day, I like to spritz this on. At nakakatulong siya to keep my skin looking a little bit more hydrated. Again, on crusty, extra dry days. If you have oily skin, try yung skin mattifying mist. If you're a fan of rose-scented products and you also like that glow, try yung rose water glow. But all of these three maganda. Shoot! Super ganda na itong makeup na to, sis. Kahit na natural siya. Huwag niyo akong inaano. Maganda siya, o diba? Like, sobrang fresh! Oh my god! Naging fresh din ang atin nyo. Kanina nakita nyo naman kung gano'n ako parang ngarag, haggard, haggardo versosa. Tapos, siya, Catherine! Ikaw ba yan? Catherine na sapak? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh! Ang ganda. Ang ganda. Ayun, sana na-enjoy nyo yung aking tutorial for the summer season. If you wear this look and if you buy any of the products I mentioned, do tag me on Instagram with the hashtag DonisiaMadeMeBuyIt and i-repost ko po sila, of course. But thank you so much for watching. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click mo yan, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what you want to see next on my channel. And I'll be seeing you guys on my next one. Bye!